What are you up to now? <laughs> Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker. At your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Uh, um, from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. If you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Go on, take the moon. Oh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <gasps> yes! Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demiguises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. Why would I do this? Seems all risk and no reward. Oh, rest assured, there's very little risk and there is, in fact, a reward. I will teach you a particularly useful spell. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm, you'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh. I sent you a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, 
You'll find one statue in the Prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Alohomora. Disillusionment charm, so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restricted area of the castle, after all. Revelio. Poorly, I'd say. Is that so? This must be the Prefect's bathroom. Hello, Hamora. comes near me, I'll hand him his hat. Or hell, maybe both. Anyway, I'll stop in rebellion. My marching professor has to be prepared. I don't think that's what that class is for. Right. Why don't you leave goblins alone? How dare you speak to a prefect that way? I'm a prefect too, That's it. 50 health points. You really can't do that. was before I invented blue powder. I hope you know this is going to help us. Oh, no. I'm terribly disappointed about Quidditch being cancelled. Huh. 
I had planned to bet a few galleons on Hufflepuff. about and the golden snitch rather a lot like life isn't it oh i suppose i should pay closer attention in the next match if there ever is one i suppose you Revenue. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. If we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. You have your work cut out for you, if you were to ever unravel their meaning. How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. You have your work cut out for you, if you were to ever unravel their meaning. You mentioned offering something in exchange for my assistance. I did. Uh, once you've brought me enough moons, I'll show you even more powerful forms of Alahamora. Not every lock is as easy to pick as the faculty towers. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Oh, I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery.
Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings! Uh, any luck removing some more of those Demiguy statues? I actually have some moons for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the fewer of these statues I see, the better. <laughs> uh, you keep your eye out for others, and I'll teach you more about Alahamora. Where should I look for more Demiguy statues and moons? All of my uh, usual haunts, which incidentally have now become quite haunting. Here in the castle, in Ogsmead, and believe it or not, in some of the surrounding hamlets. Oh, my tormentor is nothing if not thorough. <laughs> Kept me from all my usual engagements for an eternity now. I'll keep an eye out for more Demiguy statues and see if I can bring you more moons. You are to be commended for your bravery and valour. Especially since they can only be collected at night. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings! Any luck removing some more of those Demiguy statues? I actually have some moons for you. Oh, my mind feels lighter already knowing those statues are gone. I did promise to show you how to improve casting Alahamora once you'd brought me enough moons. Oh, with that knowledge, you'll be able to break open even stronger locks. Mm. However, we don't yet know who's behind these statues. <laughs> Still plenty of the foul things lying in wait to torture me. Oh. If you bring me more moons, I'll show you how to cast the most powerful form of Alahamora known to wizard kind. <laughs> At least known to me. Keep looking for those moons, hmm? You'll save my sanity and we may get to the bottom of whoever's behind all of this. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings. Uh, any luck removing some more of those Demiguy statues? I actually have some moons for you. Dear me, you have been busy. Incredible, thank you. You're ready for the final Alahamora lesson. With this knowledge, no lock shall ever stand in your way. You have done all I asked. I only wish I knew who put those statues everywhere in the first place. <sighs> Alas. If you do find more, please feel free to remove them. You'll be doing your caretaker a huge service. And if I ever find out who the bully is behind this cruel trick, I shall let you know. Thank you once again for your assistance and tenacity. Now that you've mastered Alahamora, no lock is unbreakable. Uh, but do feel free to keep finding Demiguy statues and removing those moons. I suspect you are the one who has been interfering with a rather personal matter. The Demiguy statues and the moons contained therein were placed as they were for good reason. You should not meddle in the personal affairs of others. I don't think Mr. Pemberton meant to use his own stationery. He knows something about those Demiguy's moons. He's in Hogsmeade, apparently. Perhaps I shall pay him a visit. Hogsmeade, here I come. Those statues took time and effort. Pardon me, sir, but about those curious demiguy statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you ask? They're causing Mr. Moon terrible distress. Ha! Good. That was the idea. So you did create them? I... Uh, yes, I did. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years ago. You are the one who's been pilfering them. I am. At the request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl. On your stationery. 
<clears throat> ah, well, fitting Moon would enlist a student, too cowardly to do it himself, <laughs> hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully. Gave me a horrible nickname, which I shan't repeat. I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. Then I started seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was too much. Even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. Mr. Moon does a good deal for the school, and he's taught me a lot. He's terrified of those statues. <laughs> I know. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. That's when I knew what I needed to do. I simply didn't want to encounter him anymore. So, I shrewdly put a boggart in his path to learn his greatest fear. I then created the demiguy statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were inspired play on his name. It worked brilliantly. Until you started clearing them out. The statues are a form of bullying. You're no better than him. Perhaps it's time you both moved on. Ah, fair point, I suppose. If they've terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the Demiguy statues. It was an old schoolmate of yours, Piers Pemberton. Oh, am I a known? Pigtails Piers! I don't think he likes being called that. Of course he does! Oh, we had such flowing locks. Oh, we used to laugh about them. <laughs> I laugh the artist of all. Clever, clever man. Hmm. I'd no idea he was so devious. <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. Continue collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm going to go and pay a visit to my old friend. <laughs>